Hi friends, it's Mrs. Myers here. Today I'm going to read to you Horton Hatches the Egg by Dr. Seuss. One of my very favorite books. Horton Hatches the Egg. Sighed Maisie, a lazy bird hatching an egg. I'm tired and I'm bored and I've got kinks in my leg. From sitting, just sitting here day after day, it's work. I hate it. I'd much rather play. I'd take a vacation, fly off for a rest, if I could find someone to stay on my nest. If I could find someone, I'd fly away free. Then Horton, the elephant, passed by her tree. Hello, called the lazy bird, smiling her best. You've nothing to do, and I do need a rest. Would you like to sit on my egg in my nest? The elephant laughed. Why, of all silly things, I haven't feathers and I haven't wings. Me on your egg? Why, that doesn't make sense. Your egg is so small, ma'am, and I'm so immense. Tut, tut, answered Maisie. I know you're not small, but I'm sure you can do it, no trouble at all. Just sit on it softly, you're gentle and kind. Come be a good fellow. I know you won't mind. I can't, said the elephant. Please, begged the bird. I won't be gone long, sir. I give you my word. I'll hurry right back while I'll never be missed. Very well, said the elephant, since you insist. You want a vacation, go fly off and take it. I'll sit on your egg and I'll try not to break it. I'll stay and be faithful. I mean what I say. Toodaloo, sang out Maisie and fluttered away. Hmm, the first thing to do, muttered Horton. Let's see, the first thing to do is to prop up this tree and make it much stronger. That has to be dumb. Before I get on it, I must weigh a ton. Then carefully, tenderly, gently, he crept up the trunk to the nest where the little eggs slept. Then Horton the elephant smiled. Now that's that. And he sat, and he sat. And he sat, and he sat. And he sat all that day, and he kept the egg warm, and he sat all that night through a terrible storm. It poured, and it lightning, it thundered, and rumbled. This isn't much fun, the poor elephant grumbled. I'd wish she'd come back, because I'm cold and I'm wet. I hope that Maisie Bird doesn't forget. But Maisie by this time was far beyond reach, enjoying the sun sunshine way off on Palm Beach. And having such fun, what a wonderful rest, decided she'd never go back to her nest. So Horton kept sitting there day after day, and soon it was autumn, the leaves blew away. And then came the winter, the snow and the sleet, and icicles hung from his trunk and his feet. But Horton kept sitting and said with a sneeze, I'll stay on this egg and I won't let it freeze. I meant what I said and I said what I meant. An elephant's faithful 100%. So poor Horton sat there the whole winter through and then came the springtime with troubles anew. His friends gathered round. They shouted with glee. Look, Horton, the elephant's up in a tree. They taunted, they teased him, they yelled, how absurd, old Horton the elephant thinks he's a bird. They laughed and they laughed and they all ran away, but Horton was lonely, he wanted to play. But he sat on the egg and continued to say, I meant what I said and I said what I meant, an elephant's faithful 100%. No matter what happens, this egg must be tended, but poor Horton's trouble were far, far from ending, for while Horton sat there so faithful, so kind, the hunters came sneaking up softly behind. He heard the moon's footsteps. He turned with a start. Three rifles were aiming right straight at his heart. Did he run? He did not. Horton stayed on that nest. He held his tail high, he threw out his chest, and he looked at the hunters as much to say, Shoot if you must, but I won't run away. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. An elephant's faithful, 100%. But the men didn't shoot. Much to Horton's surprise, they dropped 
their three guns and stared with wide eyes. Look, they all shouted. Can such a thing be? An elephant sitting on top of a tree? It's strange. It's amazing. It's wonderful. New. No, don't shoot him. We'll catch him. That's just what we'll do. Let's take him alive while he's terribly funny. We'll send him back home to a circus for money. And the first thing he knew, they had built a big wagon with ropes on the front for the pullers to drag on. They dug up a tree and they put it inside with Horton so sad he practically cried. We're off, the men shouted, and they all went with Horton unhappy, 100%. Up out of the jungle, up into the sky, up over the mountains, 10,000 feet high. Then down, down the mountains and down to the sea went the cart with the elephant, egg, nest, and tree. Then out of the wagon and onto the ship, out over the ocean, and ooh, what a trip. Rolling and tossing and splashed with the spray, and Horton said, day after day after day. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant, but oh, I am seasick, 100%. After bobbing around for two weeks like a cork, they landed at last in the town of New York. All ashore, the men shouted, and down with the lurch went Horton the Elephant, still on his perch. Tied onto a board that could just scarcely hold him, bump, Horton landed, and then the men sold him. Sold to a circus, then week after week they showed him to people at ten cents a peak. They took him to Boston, to Kalamazoo, Chicago, Weehawken, and Washington, too. To Dayton, Ohio, St. Paul, Minnesota, to Wichita, Kansas, to Drake, North Dakota. And everywhere, thousands of folks flocked to see and laugh at the elephant up in a tree. Poor Horton grew sadder the farther he went, but said it, but sad as he sat in the hot, noisy tent. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. An elephant's faithful. One hundred percent. Then, one day, the circus show happened to reach a town way down south, not so far from Palm Beach, and dawdling along way up high in the sky, who, of all people, should chance to fly by? But that old good-for-nothing bird, runaway Maisie, still on vacation and still just as lazy, and spying the flags and tents below, she sang out, What fun, while I'll go to the show. And she swooped from the clouds through an open tent door. Good gracious, gasped Maisie. I've seen you before. Poor Horton looked up with his face white as chalk. He started to speak, but before he could talk, there rang out the noisiest ears splitting squeaks from the egg he'd been he'd sat on for 51 weeks a thumping a bumping a wild alive scratching my egg shouted horton my egg why it's hatching but it's mine screamed the bird when she heard the egg crack the work was all done now she wanted it back it's my egg she sputtered you stole it from me get off my nest and get out of my tree Poor Horton back down with a sad and heavy heart. But at that very instant, the egg burst apart, and out of the pieces of red and white shell from the egg he'd sat on so long and so well, Horton the elephant saw something whiz. It had ears and a tail and a trunk just like his. And the people came shouting, what's this all about? They looked and they stared with their eyes popping out. Then they cheered and they cheered and they cheered some more. We've never seen anything like it before. My goodness, my gracious, they shouted. My word, it's something brand new. It's an elephant bird. And it should be, it should be, it should be like that. Because Horton was faithful and he sat and he sat. He meant what he said and he said what he meant. And they sent him home happy, 100%. The end. 
Thank you for watching and listening to my story. If you have a book at home that you would like to read to us, go ahead and record yourself and send it to me on Dojo, and I will see if I can share it with the rest of the class. Thank you. Have a great day.